Potter's Journal these dogwoods really are holding up and going on and on and on and on. Um, it's, um, uh, yeah, a few days later, or mid-May, plus a couple of days. Um, we'll probably have to look at my garden pottery at some point, but uh, not just yet. Let's see what's going on in the studio. I did manage to get that firing in. Um, so let's see what's in the kiln today. And this was about that last, post last final rush um, making of uh, pots at the end of the season. Um, the sockies. Um, however, I did have a Christmas plate here that was uh, for a special purpose. Um, hmm, maybe we'll just grab this whole shelf and take it all out at once. That's what's nice about this little kiln. Um, doing things in small batches and a little bit at a time um, and being able to lift out the whole kiln or the whole kiln shelf at once. Um, let's see, this was um, on the darker clay body or maybe some reclaimed clay, the um, sea mist over the uh, Albany and it doesn't quite have the um, run or the showing up as good as it did on the lighter clay body but um, uh, so now at least we have the sake, our, our yeah, sake shots in a, um, or shot glasses, or tea party cups if it's kids, in um, another, another option on, on glaze choices. But this is what this was for, um, getting a wedding gift um, of this, uh, these odd fluted bowls. And uh oh, I can see something showing through. Oh great. Um, we've got, yeah, an S crack on the bottom. <laughs> These have been coming out perfect so far. If there was going to be a problem, this would be the time. Um, and the salsas. More duck rolls. So we've... I, I did take some of these down to my shop at my nursery. We'll have to take a look down there soon and see how I've got that set up. I do in June um, when they have Three Rivers Arts Festival in Pittsburgh. I have a One Creek Pottery Sale at my nursery. So we'll have to um, get the Potter's Journal down for that. Okay, oh, that wasn't the big... Um, uh, bowl. I see here is a bigger one. And yeah, down in the bottom of the kiln. Um, but first, let's see the tea bowls. Uh, yeah. The, um, oh, um, let's see, what is it? The, um, um, on the bottom, the uh, snow on brick standards is uh, settling out a bit and not coming out quite the way it was early on, but, um, yeah. So now we've got some tea bowls in another um, glaze. And the same with the sockies. Um, once again, okay, very different than uh, earlier firings because of that uh, uh, snow on brick settling out. And I thought I was mixing it pretty good, but I may have, um, yeah not doing quite a good enough job but um okay this is it this is what we needed as a gift let's see if uh no we can't get uh, a light on it to show it off it might be a bit too much outside but i don't see any problems here so um yes we're, we're happy here um yeah we've got that uh, that not not quite as a distinctive halo on the bottom, but still, um, the way the two glazes are blending um, is uh, yeah of interest, and we've got good a nice uh, sparkly gift, and the other one yeah down here in the bottom of the kiln looks good too. I um oh on these I did. I wasn't quite sure, um, let's see, where can I set them up? Uh, we might, after we get this unloaded, we'll uh, maybe set them on top of the kiln and look at them. Oh, okay. Um, it looks good stacked, too. Um, 
are coming together. And the sockies. Um, yeah, I'm not as distinctive as in the earlier firings. The two glazes coming together, but um, still, um, yeah, more pleased there. Uh, um, let's see, oh, a couple more tea bowls. Okay, let's see, oh, yeah, here um, we do have the um, Albany with the sea mist over the um, edge of it. And, um, hmm, how are we going to do that? Well, let's get my hand on the bottom. And, um, yeah, good. Um, so we've got some uh, tea bowls with uh, nice glaze on them. Just what we wanted. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can't um, think or talk today. But, um, to put it simply, um, yeah, ooh, look at that. Just what we wanted. Um, yeah, I, I, I do like the way the seamist just put up on the lip about an inch down um, has run. Um, it, it, it might have been about uh, no, about an inch. Uh, yeah, about, I think I came to about um, the, where the top of my thumb is, and then it ran the rest of the way. Um, and, um, okay, so um, yeah, and we had. Uh, cone six and um, a few more of the sockies. Um, okay, we we'll put down this kiln lid and up. Yeah, I wasn't sure when making these um, because they were bigger than the first time around. I felt that they needed more of the uh, the fluting going around there so instead of doing it opposites um, the smaller ones were easy because I did opposite opposite and then the X but here I had to um, yeah kind of go by feel to get those spaced evenly around there and um, I think I mentioned last time already being sold out on garlic jars. I was putting some things aside because I wanted to get rid of the older Pennsylvania blue pieces, but I did find a couple of garlic jars there. And I'm going to say probably another kiln, two kiln loads to fire yet. Plus these I had put aside and I found a couple more um, garlic jars to get in the next kiln with the um, Albany on the bottom and the sea mist over it. It had brown slip that wasn't showing through any of the glazes I was, I, I was using, so I just put them aside, but decided this combo, I, I think and hope, will work. And um, I did the same with a couple of ores that, uh, that were here. So we'll see how that comes out. Um, so yeah, just a little bit of time in the studio um, each week here and um, I'm getting a few things done. Okay, stop back and um, we'll have to check out how this looks in my um, shop at the nursery.